Hey, uh, welcome back to Tolfer Talks. Just a quick review of Geiger Volume 1 from Image Comics. Um, I picked this up because I was watch or I had trash cast on the on the big TV one night. I had the sound turned down, so I'm not sure. I'm guessing because it's Jeff Johns, it was something maybe Ethan was going like, hey, here's a cool comic. And um, so I thought I'd check it out. And um, I got this copy from Amazon. It showed up in really good shape. It's only, what was it? It was like 10 bucks for six issues. So um, yeah, pretty cool. I really enjoyed it. I uh, The art is pretty freaking good. There's just a couple things that kind of bug me. And uh, when I say that the art bothers me, you know, since I've been making my own comic, I mean, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> man, my art's getting a lot better, but I probably couldn't do this. But there's a couple things in here, um, mostly with the splash pages that were kind of annoying. But um, this isn't one of them. This was really cool. Although it seemed like there could have been more story you know, there's quite a few of these, like, I don't know if this really needed to be two pages, but it's a sweet landscape. This is really nice. I really um, appreciate, who is this guy? Gary Frank. Also, man, I know, I've heard the name, but I don't know much about him. But uh, I know now that I don't think anybody has, <laughs> he's probably draws folds in clothing better than any other contemporary artist. I think I think that's safe to say. But it looks like Geiger is going to be one of the characters in Jeff Johns' new um, kind of his little universe he's creating. And I'm all for it. Um, it's pretty, it, it, I really enjoyed the book. It was good. Um, the, I read it, actually read it twice. First time through, you know, some of the complaints Ethan had about Eric's comics about, you know, leaving not really, really um, stating the, the main character's powers and all that. I kind of felt some of that um, on the first read. This is another splash page. You know, it's pretty cool, but it's not super dramatic and I mean this is the beginning of a nuclear war you know it, it seems like there could have been but maybe you know then that could just be the feel of <clears throat> the book though like maybe it's a documentary but um but yeah so I mean the art's great that seems kind of like a wasted splash page <clears throat> and this all I almost cried man look at that dog yeah, so this is Geiger. He's uh, got a bomb shelter. He tells his family to head out, check in to the bomb shelter. There's these <clears throat> crazy neighbors with a gun <clears throat> showed up. And um, yeah, my, I guess uh, in the 50s or early 60s when everybody was making bomb shelters, my grandpa said that, you know, he, he wouldn't have a bomb shelter because he didn't feel like he could shoot his neighbors. So that's a story I remember. I'm kind of thinking maybe bomb shelter would be cool right now, though. The more, um, the way things are going. But this is another splash page that it's cool, but I don't know, this horizontal is so strong. It's almost like, I think it could have been cooler. I think it could have been cooler somehow. And these are some folks coming up on Geiger's compound. Yeah, and I don't really want to go through the whole thing because I think um, this this is something maybe people should just buy. But this is a great splash page. I love the character. And again. Nice job, 
with the folds, with the wrinkles, the texture on crushed automobiles that he used to build this wall. And, uh, but you know, this first issue, I had a hard time really connecting to the character until we got to this page, you know? And so, I mean, I think we're, we're way into that issue. Yeah, it's almost the end. When he's talking about being bored <laughs> of, uh, you know, because he, he's read all of his books. And I've kind of, I can relate to that. He's read and reread them. Needs a new book. And this is the King of Las Vegas. This is also very cool. It looks like it was a cover. Apparently it was a cover for one of the, a variant cover for one of the issues. Also, yeah, so there's some really good, really nice art. This is a great splash page. Super dramatic. The angles are great. Kind of really draw you into the conversation, um, into the composition. Lots of action here. I mean, I just feel lots of motion, even though it's a static kind of scene. He's just sort of standing there being cool with his wolf, two-headed wolf. Um, but yeah, don't, um, don't rely on um, a video of some guy flipping through the book. Go out and find a copy of your own. Read it, enjoy it. And this is another, this splash page. I mean, the first time I read it, it was kind of cool. And it felt like, you know, I felt something. But the second time through, I felt a little cheated. I think this is, you know, this kind of thing works once. And if you want your readers to really be invested in a story enough to uh, read it again and again, I would, I think uh, maybe avoiding this kind of thing is good. Another great, this is, yeah, another good, but then there's two, I don't know, that seems like a lot of splash pages. This is really good. Another great landscape with a two-headed wolf. Yeah, so the unnamed, yeah, that's the universe. So Geiger, I'm pro Geiger. But um, yeah, here's some nice artwork. Some of this is better than others. I like better. Man, that could have almost been blown up and been the cover right there. Just the wolves. This is really cool. And also very cool. Kind of a Shakespeare reference. This, you should, I'm pausing here so you can take a look. Good stuff. Um, definitely pro Junkyard Joe. Junkyard Joe makes an appearance in these first six issues. And um, Red Coat, I don't know. You know, I don't know anything about him. My initial response is, looks kind of cheesy, but it sounds like maybe he's a, you know, a Russian, a Hessian soldier from the revolution. And he's a mercenary now, up to present day. Somehow he manages to stay alive. He's become immortal, sort of. But um, I don't know. Might be cool. I'd check it out just because uh, uh, Geiger was so good. Um, also, nice end page. It's just a uh, man trade or a perfect bound book. Real nice.
and cheap. So I would definitely check this out. Um, if you have a minute, I'm going to hang in there because I'm going to unbox uh, Volume 2 of Terry and the Pirates. I just got this um, from Amazon, so I guess that's why I kind of did the video. I felt like this deserved an unboxing. That, and I haven't made a video for a while, and I think from watching my videos, I was actually getting better at it the more I did it. So I think I'm going to get back into doing them. If they get four views, <laughs> so be it. I guess that's the way it goes. But if you haven't checked out Terry and the Pirates, do it. Volume 1 was amazing. It was a really great reading experience. And so, oh yeah, that's nice. It smells like patchouli oil. Oh yeah, patchouli oil, Whole Foods Market, it all, it all makes sense. But it's supposed to be a new condition, so we'll see. Oh yeah, I think this is, my volume one is in really good shape, but it looks like the corner's a little dinged, but um, I got a pretty good deal on this, so I don't care if it's dinged up a little bit. But, um, can I tell you, volume one, I. I thought it was good from the beginning, but the further you get into it, it becomes, it's like potato chips. You just can't stop. I couldn't stop. In fact, I just finished volume one, you know, a week ago, and I was immediately on eBay looking for volume two because I just had to keep, uh, stay in it, stick with it. I had to, I had to find out what happened. So, um, uh, Pro, Terry and the Pirates, the side IDW, um, you know, publication is pretty, pretty nice. I haven't really, this is it, this is all I've read for Terry and the Pirates, so I can't compare them to other, other Terry and the Pirates, um, volumes from other, from, uh, publishers other than IDA, IDW, but, um, this is, this is good. Anyway, man, thanks for, uh, checking things out. Uh, I, as far as my comic goes, if anybody's here interested in my comic, um, I kind of went back, you know, I've, I'm like a hundred, almost a hundred pages into this thing now and I need to post. So I know I need to post some more stuff on Twitter or X or whatever, Instagram, but, um, my art's gotten so much better just from, you know, drawing a lot that um, I had to go back and start reworking the first issue. So, which I kind of wanted to do anyway, because I, I did, I did publish a hundred copies um, of the first issue uh, a couple of years back and sold them locally. And I guess for a crowdfunder, I wanted to make sure it was different and it's, Quite a bit different, I think quite a bit better. Um, and I'm much happier with it. So I think uh, anybody that backs the book will be happier as well. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for checking in. And um, yeah, later. Bye.